Hey guys, I want to make this video to go over the PSA price increases. What are my initial thoughts on this? How is it going to impact the hobby? And what can you do as a collector? So if you don't know, PSA has about doubled their prices across the board. Everything from bulk now down to express and standard services. So if you're looking at bulk, you're looking at a minimum of $20 per card. And that's for vintage or like trading cards. And then uh, for more modern stuff, I think it's 2018 through 2021, uh, you're looking at $25 a card. Now, if you don't have, and that's if you have a PSA membership. Now, if you don't have a PSA membership, your standard turnaround, I believe is now $100 to send in a card if you don't want to send in bulk. Now, the one thing I do like about PSA changing this up is they did increase the values of bulk cards. So no longer it's $199 a card, it's $499. And then on top of that, it's a 10 card minimum rather than 20. So those are positive changes as a collector, right? You don't want to always send in 20, 30, 40, 50 cards at once. Now you can just send in 10 and send uh, submissions more often. So you get cards coming back. And also now that they've upped the thing at uh, $4.99 rather than $1.99, you can send in some more expensive cards with bulk. So I like that. Now let's take a look on the flip side of the coin, increasing the prices. So what is increasing the prices going to do? Well, it affects all collectors like you and I, because we don't want to spend $20 a card, $25 a card bulk, and then get a submission back next year. Sending in a lot of cards to get graded alone is already expensive. Uh, later this week, you'll see a submission video where I send over 200 cards to PSA, but that's expensive. That's over two grand. That's close to three grand total cost to get all of these cards graded. Now that prices are double, that's close to five, six grand, uh, depending on shipping and everything with that. So as a collector, right, you're spending a lot, lot more money to get your cards graded. So the biggest impact we have to take a look at is the secondary market. How are people going to respond to PSA price increases? Are PSA cards going to go for more on eBay and other resale websites? So my personal belief right now is the eights, nines, and tens are going to get a price bump. Because now people think, well, it's $20 to get a card graded at a bare minimum on top of shipping out the card. So let's say you have a bare minimum cost of $25 or $30 for each individual card. Are people now going to pay at least $30 for an average rookie as a PSA 9 or a PSA 10 to cover costs of the increase in price? Or are the slabs going to go underneath the cost? Are we going to now go into a junk slab era, which I've been thinking about for a long time, where the cost of a card is actually less than it is to get it graded? Uh, let's say, for example, you have a decent rookie and their rookie card is a nine is only $15, but to get it graded is $25. Is that the direction now we're going to be moving into just because of the price increases? And another thing to think about is with the price increases, are, are people now only going to send in really, really high ticket cards? Or are people going to continue to send in their collection? There's a lot of people that want to get every single card they have slabbed up, even if it's not worth a lot of money. Are they going to continue going through PSA or are they now going to go out and find another company uh, like let's say SGC or Beckett or CSG or even like a GMA uh, for a lot cheaper slabs. And even speaking of GMA, they increased their prices. So did Beckett, so did SGC. The one company that hasn't really increased the prices yet in their brand new company is CSG. And they have a lot of credibility uh, behind them between the coin market and the comic books. So is CSG now going to rise up because of their lower grading costs and fast turnaround times? Are people going to go out there and spend a lot of money to get CSG graded? They have two Beckett graders. The, the head graders went from Beckett over to CSG to start this company. And CSG's parent company has a lot, a lot of credibility. So is there going to be a big market gap now between PSA? A lot of people are going to move over from PSA to CSG. Um, time will tell. But because of the increase in prices, it's going to change the industry completely. Uh, another point I wanted to bring up is now when people open up wax boxes, you're going to send in every single card to get graded. You're going to see a lot more new product on eBay or the secondary market because of the increase in prices. You don't want to spend $100 to get something turned around really fast. You might as well just send it on eBay or you're going to wait for it bulk. So a lot of people who need to flip cards to make money or just send cards to PSA to get that fast turnaround might be selling on eBay right away rather than uh, sending it out and then getting it on eBay down the road. Anyways, what do you guys think about the PSA price increases? Do you like it or do you hate it? Personally, I'm not a fan of it. Grading's already super expensive and it's even more of a burden. I understand because of the turnaround times, but when I'm sending in my cards, I already expect it to be over a year to get these back. I don't want these cards back in another month or two. I'm not desperate to flip them. 
Anyways, let me know down in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys in another video.